Hi. Um, today we're gonna talk about ventures adjustment. For anyone who uh, have adventures, uh, sometimes I wonder how to do it at home. What type of tool should I use to do it? Those are the questions that many have asked. Um, well, in this video I'm gonna show you uh, so simple steps how to adjust your dentures just in your house. Many have wondered how to adjust their dentures uh, at home, which is not easy. Uh, I recommend to anyone who wears dentures First, check with your local office and whatever you get it, I make an appointment to have it adjust. I mean, so it's better. But if you don't have uh, anywhere to go or you don't have a time, um, you can do it. You know, it's an easy way to sell, save money too because any more adjustments, you know, it costs from 20 to $100 and more when it needs to repair. So I'm gonna show you a simple steps on how to adjust your dentures um, at your home. First, you need a Dremel tool. You can get Dremel tool anywhere, um, Menards, uh, Home Depot, um, pretty much anywhere, you can get that. So this tool comes with instruction and uh, comes with uh, so many, you know, adjustment kits. Uh, this is that polishing wheel here, you know, that you can polish with. This is uh, uh, some type of a, a sand paper and that you can use, and uh, this is a kind of a like small, tiny um, bit over here. So it's, it, is, it is simple. Um, many people, they feel scared, fear to touch their dentures just in case they, um, they mess up with it. But I'm gonna show you exactly, uh, step by step, how to adjust uh, your dentures. There are many reasons uh, uh, many of the denture users um, they co complain about. You know, the most common on the dentures uh, complaints are the borderlines. This too long here, you know, too long over here. Um, well, sometimes when a denture is too long on uh, the flanges area, they tend to um, fell down, don't stay, and and also when the dentures is not uh, is not correctly trimmed from this area over here, uh, makes uh, the people gag. You know, so when the freedoms, those are the freedoms, are not put in place, also causes the denture to um, fell down, not to feel tight. You know, the freedom sometimes, uh, some technician forget to add to the denture. So, but I'm gonna show you how, uh, by using this tool, how to do it. First, before we start doing anything, we need to learn how to use this Dremel. So it is important to know how to use it if you are, you're not familiar with it. So here is the denture um, that it needs to be adjusted. Just assuming that um, your denture is too long, it needs to be trimmed. First, uh, this is the on button here, the blue. And this is the speed adjustment, which is go from two to five. 
um, the speed. I recommend you start with one um, while you start feeling comfortable. You know, so this is one, this is two, this is three, the most speed, four and five. You know, so the speed changes. And um, to shut it off again, first you shut it off, you wanna change the beat. And here, there is the lock button. So you press on the lock button, you know, and then you unscrew and you take it off. You know, that was to change. Let's see, you wanna use this, that kind of a rough sand pa paper. And then that's the polishing unit. And this is the, to do some other, like picking up a little bubbles from, from you uh, denture. So let's try to start grinding on with this. Again, I'm gonna put it not too far from the base, just tight, you know, tight, and I'm gonna use the and uh, I counterclockwise. Make sure that snaps, you know. Um, make sure that this lock locks all in, like right there. Right there, okay, it's locked, see? So, to start grinding, I will turn it on. It's in speed number two. Just grinding there. All the areas that I wanted to smooth out or reduce. And this is a little fine sand paper. You see, it's taking a little by little. You're not taking much. You can do it slowly. I mean, I'm doing it too fast, but you can start doing it slow. If something is poking you inside your denture, you can slightly sneak this uh, in to a smooth that area down. Don't be afraid to do it. Just you're not gonna take too much from your denture. If this area in the back is bothering you, you can also smooth it out. You know, a smooth, 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 smooth. Is I wanna have it a little bit more higher speed. It cuts faster. Just like that. And this is how you kind of smooth all these areas that bother you in your denture. Don't press too hard. Otherwise, uh, you will make things worse. Just kind of a slow, you can slowly go through your entire venture with this tool and it's not gonna affect or cut too much out of it. Basically, I'm not cutting anything, I'm just smoothing things up. Then you can shut it off and change it to And find the way to lock because this thing is okay. It's lock slow and change it to uh, maybe if you need uh, a little bit more, um, cut a little bit more out of the denture. So this this one is more aggressive. You know, if you want to do your um, 
um, your horseshoe, you start like this. The horseshoe or taking a little bit um, more out. A little by little, you horseshoeing the adventure. As you can tell, I'm horseshoeing it. It takes a little bit of time, but be patient, you're gonna get there. As you see, it's cutting. Okay, so this is one way to show you. And then again, you just shut it off and change it to a little bit more um, to smooth things down with this so doesn't have to bother you much let's uh, put this back Kind of clockwise, it's tight in there. And I'm just gonna smooth it out. Smooth it out really well until you basically don't feel pretty much anything. Like that. It's really smooth right there. But if you want to kind of like polish it, again, we take the bead off. And put this one on. I'm doing some a little bit of a combination of using Vaseline and I put it on this shot glass Vaseline and with salt see the combination the salt I need something that can in a little bit of water this is the water I need a little bit of sandy type of uh, material in order to help me out smooth this danger out more like almost polishing so then I'm sanding pretty much this down I mean like a smoothing things down with um, my thing fell out didn't tie it really well And I'm smoothing it, you know, really nicely with and almost polishing it with salt and Vaseline. It will let me just almost like, you know. This is my first time using this. I use a professional one, Lodel Office. This is a little bit slightly different. So, here we go. Um, as you can tell, and it, everything looks, you know, if I would have continued, I could take this denture all the way right here as a, as a result of, of my grinding. So, thank you for watching, and um, I will show you other time, another video 
about how to repair your denture. Thank you.